Noam Chomsky's Theory of Universal Grammar by Shannon Anderson, English 463, Language Structure and Acquisition. Noam Chomsky, aka the Radical Linguist, was born in Philadelphia on December 7, 1928. He was inspired by his father's work as a Hebrew scholar. Noam Chomsky studied his work and began teaching linguistics in 1955. His teachings led him to formulate groundbreaking theories related to children's language development. Some of Noam Chomsky's known published work. His first was in February of 1957 called Syntactic Structures. In 1966, he published Aspects of the Theory of Syntax, Topics in the Theory of Generative Grammar, and Cartesian Linguistics, a chapter in the history of linguistic thought. Universal Grammar Theory Chomsky believes that children will never require the knowledge to process an infinite number of sentences if the language acquisition mechanism was dependent on language input alone. The theory of universal grammar was proposed suggesting that all children are born with the ability to acquire, develop, and understand grammar regardless of where or how they were raised, such as knowing the noun categories and verb categories. Universal grammar holds the grammatical information needed in order to combine categories of language, such as verb and nouns into phrases. Children have the natural ability to combine nouns and verbs into the correct and meaningful order. Critical period of learning. The critical period in which children learn language the most effectively takes place between birth until puberty. Chomsky believes that children pass through a linguistic alertness stage where the ability to understand language has the capability to influence them during later periods of their lives, such as the ability to be multilingual. Language acquisition is the process that requires children to understand implicit rules that help spread the knowledge of language. Chomsky believes that language is used to express ideas, messages, and emotions. Therefore, it is subject to constant modification and revision by others. Children make up and use their own language until they become familiar with the proper ways to use words and sentences. Challenges to Chomsky's theory. Chomsky's views are different than others, such as behaviorist B.F. Skinner, who believe that language is the result of conditioning, and those of psychologist Jean Piaget, who thought that language acquisition is related to a child's cognitive development. Psycholinguists argue that categories such as nouns and verbs are biologically evolutionary and psychologically implausible. Opposing constructivist investigators argue to have a more gradual developmental process, such as morphology acquisition in which morphemes are the smallest grammatical markers in language and can effectively alter words. Constructivists also believe that children are sensitive to patterns in language. How we can benefit from learning about Noam Chomsky's universal theory. We learn and understand how language is developed from a young age. We are aware of how children form grammar while in school. Teachers can implement the study of language in students by creating lesson plans to help encourage the development of language according to Noam Chomsky's theory.